Hi guys. Ooh, it's cold. I don't know about you guys, but we have a lot of snow. So perfect time of the year for me again to do my ice flowers. Now I've never shown this to you guys, so it's going to be new to you. And let me get started with showing you how I make my ice flowers. Now you will need silicone molds. This one's still wet because I've been making them. I'm going to show you using this one. All right, and since they're silicone, I like to use a small cutting board to move them around. And to get started, you want to freeze not quite halfway full of just plain water. And let's go freeze that and we'll be back. Okay, when your first stage is frozen, this is when you're going to need a piece of ribbon. Now I kind of, you know, sprinkle a little bit of water or have a, the bottom of the ribbon wet to kind of get the ribbon to stick a little. Now I always, because I've done this a few different years and I've learned that crossing the ribbon, it gets a better hold. If you just set the ribbon in, when it starts to thaw, it's going to slide right out. And... At this stage, I also add a little bit of colored water, and I don't color all of it because I don't, um, I, when I did that before, it, it's even messier on your hands as far as handling it to, to get it outside. So I think the best way is to just do your little bit of layer in the middle, and that also gets a really nice hold on your ribbon. So when the, when the sun starts to melt it when it's outside, it, the ribbon will again be in the center and it will hang up longer. So this is a, you know, less than a half cup or about a half cup with about 10 drops or so of food dye. And at this point, I also, to be extra sparkly, like to sprinkle in, sprinkle in a little glitter. And now we're going to freeze this again. Okay, and now our dyed layer is frozen. And being that it's now going to be sandwiched between two layers of clear ice, your hands will be less affected when grabbing these to hang them up or whatever. Now, let's freeze this and we'll be back. And here it is completely frozen. Let's pull it out of the... <sighs> Carefully work your edge. Now, you will get a little bit of staining on your hands from the edge of this strip, but you can relatively handle it without being turned colors. And there it is. And with that, I'll say goodbye, and let's go see what these all look like outside. I made a bunch. Come on, guys.